We're going to begin with the temporomandibular joint. Inspect the joint. Open your mouth and close it and bite down. Okay. Neck. Inspect the neck. Any tenderness here? Nope. All right. And look down to the floor. Look up at the sky. Look over at me. Look the other direction. And push against my hand. Forward, push forward. Yeah, there you go. And pull back. That's great. Check for symmetry of the shoulders. Right one's a little low. Palpate the clavicular and acromion process coming down to the shoulder. Careful right here. There is a lot of nerves right here, so you can cause tenderness in anyone here. Any tenderness? I want you to reach behind and touch like this, and the other side. Good. And bring your arms out like that. Good. And again. And pull in. Okay. Shrug your shoulders. Okay. And bring your arms straight out. Don't let me pull down. Up. In. Or. Good. All right. Now the elbows. Make sure you palpate the epicondyles for tennis and golfer's elbow. Okay. All right. Make fists like this, and bring your, your arms in, and then back out, and do it again. Pull, pull, pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. Good. And push out. Push, 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 push. Good. Spread your fingers out, and make a fist, turn your arms over, and back. All right, squeeze my fingers, and let go. All right. One hand on the back, bring your knee up, and other one. Good. Push out, and pull in. So for the knee, palpate from the behind the joint line along the tibia. In the fossas above and below the uh, patella and compress the patella. Is there any tenderness there? Same thing on the other side. Okay, tenderness there. All right. Bring your legs out straight and pull them back in. Again, from the side so they don't kick you by mistake. Push your leg out and pull it. Push your leg out and pull it. Alright, so starting from the Achilles tendon, work around the malleolus. Any tenderness in there? Okay. Bring your legs up, All right. feet down and around, other direction. Okay. And pull up and push down. Okay, good. Go ahead and stand up. I want you to face this direction. All right, so we're going to test for scoliosis and flexibility. Reach down, touch towards your toes. And what you look for is for one shoulder to be, one part of the back to be slightly higher than the other. And yours is slightly, come up slowly. All right, good. Um, so you assess the flexibility as well there. Um, you can also assess strength here by asking them to do a, a toe raise. So raise up on your, on your toes. On your toes. On, on your toes. There you go. On your toes. There you go. And back down. All right. And like that. Or sit back down again. Um, if the patient's lying down, you can do some additional hip things. So here's those additional hip things. Um, first thing we can do is test for flexibility. So with legs straight, pull up and. Mm, that's pretty poor. <laughs> what we'd like to see is, is around 90 degrees would be great. Just. Just below 90 is all right, too. 
not so good. We need to work on that. All right, then grab one hand on the ankle, the other hand on top of the knee, pull up into the chest, and then inwards and outwards for internal external rotation. And now we're going to test strength. So hand here and pull your knee in, pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. Good. Now the other side of the knee and push out. Push, 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 push. Good. Pull up. I mean, straight leg. Just pull your whole leg up. Good. And down. Good. So those are some additional things you can do if the patient's lying. All right. And that's all she wrote.